All right. Picking up immediately from where we left off, this is the Way of the Voice. So who are the Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Uh, what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avanish. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once, did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Poventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Okay. Hold up. I want a quick save so I can shout. Okay, they didn't get mad at me. All right. Well. All right. The way of the voice. The Greybeards have summoned me to their monastery of High Hrothgar on the slopes of the throat of the world. Man, I've just woken up. <laughs> My voice is bad. Uh, they seem to have learned of the mysterious power that I gained when I killed the dragon outside Whiterun. Speak to the Greybeards. And I noticed, out the corner of my eye, there is a courier running up to me. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Gotta go just stand here. No. Oh. We already got one of those. Okay, so we have to go to High Rothbar, which is right up there. You can actually see it. Um. Sorry. I could actually. But later? You sold him, was it? You tried 
mercenary work? Into the market. It might suit you. I'm here to buy Oh, those guys are gonna stop me. Unless. Unless we. Shoot. <laughs> Bypass them all together. Right, Lydia? Okay. So to get up here to High Rothgar, we can either. Go around the mountain this way to get to Iverstead. Or we can backpedal back to Helgen and go this way to get to Iverstead. Let's go back to Helgen. Destroyed town. Let's begin our journey. To Old Iverstead. There's like a song that a bard sings. Don't remember which one it is, as it has been so long since I've played Skyrim. Follow this road, we can get there. So my orc just runs out of breath repeatedly. There's some horses, that's a camp. It is a, um, whatchamacallit, Stormcloak camp. I don't have any fire stuff. I do. I have the spell flames, which I never learned, did I? Oh, I did. What about pickaxe? Equipped. We'll worry about that when the time comes. This will probably be a rather chill trek to the city. Or town. It's a hunter. We found Hamar's shame. Oh, little white fox there. I can't see it. Lydia, I missed both times. Don't shoot bows when you've first woken up. Hold on. Like I have any money? Yes, actually. You look like you're lousy with gold. I'm not gonna ask again. I don't have time for this. Don't you walk away from me. Never should have come. Thanks for the level up. Lousy with gold? What's gold under? I thought it was under miscellaneous. I don't know how to see how much gold I have, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't lousy with gold. Well, 
Well, you're already earning your keep, Lydia. So at least something interesting happened along our trek. Box. It disappeared when it went behind the bushes again. More importantly, there was a wolf. I think there's a second one. Nope, it moved. Dang it, stop chasing stuff. It keeps moving. How did that one not hit? Never stood us that way. Oh, he killed the fox. All right. Oh wait, no. Old Iverstead is this way. Don't you come at me like that. My arrow. And my axe. Body spray. Now what? I'm good. Oh, uh, Lydia! Oh, wait. I had to level up. Lydia! Lydia! Lydia, axes! Axes, gods, bleed, Lydia! Oh, how did that miss? Lydia! I'm just getting stuck on geometry, Lydia. There we go. Some no potions. Oh! We handled it. Is this the way to ever said? No. No, it's not. <laughs> this was just the way to a bear. Lydia, why didn't you warn me? Just leading me to a bear. Yeah, the wolf I killed is over here somewhere. We don't have time for bears, Lydia. Or the alchemist's shack, Lydia. Or this magnificent, beautiful looking moose, Lydia. Look how majestic he is. This makes you want to put an arrow in his butt. Hello? Moose! Lydia! No!
Did it. Hello? I think it froze. Okay. So leaving behind this book we found. Let's get to Iverstead. So we have to climb the 7,000 steps. That cart just teleported. I was really hoping it was a skill book. Fine. Um, it'll be at the end of the video. As I attempt to read every book I come across. Or at least one book per, per thing. Oh, another curry. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Another courier. Anonymous letter. We'll get to that later. Made a diver stead. Hobbits are going to Iverstead. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to hide Rothka. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Boom! The Thune! He summons the Thune! Yeah, I figured you wanted to know that I was the Dragonborn. Yeah, <laughs> no. King of Kings. That's not what they call me. On your way up to 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Can do something about them. So we could get those supplies for Klimic and bring them up the mountain. But we'll do that as its own little quest. Look at how beautiful that looks. So we begin! Let's count! One, two, three. We're not counting 7,000 steps. We'll just hope there's actually 7,000 steps and they weren't lying to us. Um, but right here... We find an etched tablet. Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Okay. We're learning the way of the voice, so we might as well to learn those. Let's do a quick save. I don't want to have to retrack this. Hey! Jerk. What is... A little hidey hole there. Genuinely never noticed that before, but again, it has been quite some time since I've just played the main story. Goat, you shall live. Unless you get in front of me and I want to shite you. Shite. I want to shite you off the cliff. I want to shout you off the cliff. Or unless you want to show me where the, uh, the next etch etching is. Possibly right here. This. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Barknar. Yeah? Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovahkiin? That's what they had said. I forgot what I, I said in the last one. Yeah, they were saying Dovahkiin. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Well, what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. It doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. He's a hunter. 
regularly. Uh, do you visit Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Okay. Today. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Pathetic little men ain't got voices. What do they even do? Hmm? Couldn't talk. Lydia, you shot me. <laughs> I heard the arrow go into me. Okay. Well, that's three wolves. I'm just walking up this thing. They were all normal wolves, too. The little snow wolves, or whatever they're called. Here's another one. I'm gonna save here, because sometimes something bad spawns up here. Emblem 3. Fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. The dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. That's sad. Another wolf. So sometimes while I'm walking this path, a dragon will show up. <laughs> Which is a bit annoying because it has nowhere to land, so fighting it does get slightly difficult. Unless you're playing as um, an archer. Which I am not. Is our next one right here? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. All right, Karita. Yes. Did you hear the Greybeard's call, Dovakin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Well, who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Alright, what are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. I... Just two books, so she's some kind of... Keep your hands to yourself. ...bard. Etched Emblem 4. Kind called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together, they taught men to use the voice. Then, Dragon War raged. Dragon against Tongue. Lydia! Dude, I'm gonna be needing you soon. So you best get unstuck. Know what's good for you. Okay, we need to 
find number five. Lydia! Lydia, please! Lydia, I know what's ahead. I remember. Lydia, I see it! He's already healing all that health back, Lydia. Oh, he jumped down though, so he took damage. Um. I'm not hitting you. Well, I, I might be. That's right. I have no health potions, so... <laughs> Downing him was pretty great. I also have no shouts other than... Well, anyway, we can't pick up that arrow. I have no shouts other than Relenting Force, and it's level 1, so it's not that great. Emblem 5! Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world. Proving for all that their voice, too, was strong, although their sacrifices were many-fold. Okay, well, learned about a Parthenax and an Alduin. What else we can learn? Cave up here. Well, there's nothing in it. Uh, emblem. Six, with roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer. Founding the first empire with sword and voice, Waltz the dragons withdrew from this world. Withdrew, or did we just kill most of them? That's all the action for now. Past the troll, there's not really much. Much else, right? I have to sneeze. Lydia, I have to sneeze. What are you going to do about it? You're my thane. You're supposed to carry my burdens, like, not letting me sneeze. Hmm. Next one is underneath this statue. Hold on, we missed one. This is nine. Six to nine. Giggity. That's eight. There it was, right there. I just thought that was another pillar like that one, so I ignored it. Am I 
Emblem 7. Tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Run back. Emblem 8. Jurgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Okay. Now we're back to this one. Emblem 9. For years, all, all silent. The graveyard spoke one name. Tiber Septum. Uh, stripling then. Stripling then. Was summoned to Rogar. Rogar. They blessed and named him Dovakin. Here's the 10th tablet. Emblem 10. Voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. Once we have read all 10, we get a little unique passive ability. They're under active effects, but they're passive things. Voice of the sky. Animals will neither attack nor flee from you. And it lasts for 24 hours. 23. Here's their little donation chest. Had I brought Climex supplies, could have given it to them. Ooh, cultists. Need me to do something? I've got your back. No, hold on. Wait here. As you wish, my friend. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. That's an awkward thing to say. I also accidentally skipped his dialogue because I was trying to make Lydia stay put for Shout at us. a reason. Let us taste of your voice. Boom! Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I mean, who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards. Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinavith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. All right. I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. I mean, I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Well, I'm answering your summons. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. 
We can show you the way, but not your destination. They're just awkwardly staring at me. Um, I'm ready to learn. I'm ready. I'm ready. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path? training you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a doom to shout now let us see if you are willing and able to learn when you shout you speak in the language of dragons thus your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn in words of power all shouts are made up of three words of power as you master each word your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb or shot. Ro. So, force balance. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Hold on, because, like, that's unbelievably loud why are they that there didn't i drop these use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear <laughs> Oh, yeah. Forgot. Use both Moose and Ro. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Well done. Again. Okay, and he immediately refills it. Eek Losa. Seeing this? Once more. Seeing what I can do? Impressive. Your thumb is precise. Show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Okay. Learn the word of power from Bori. So I've, I haven't played as so many of the races, so I've never heard the orc do Fusaroda. Pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> Just a nice, a nice little nod.
Okay. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Now it's your turn. Y'all stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Y'all's beards aren't gray. I just want you all to know that. Yeah, some of you do have gray beards. Yours is clearly blonde. Try it again. I did it. What do you? Quick mastery of okay. Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Oh, I thought it was this easy for everyone. Beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrau. Remain true to the way of the voice. And you will return. That completes the way of the voice, and we start the next quest. The horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Okay. Well, who are the dragons? Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Surely there's more you can tell me. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. Okay. What does it mean to be dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later. When you are ready. Okay. Why are shouts in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you will learn it almost without effort. They always been this low when they talk? The Greybeards, I mean? There are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parsanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. Your voice can open the path. You will know you are ready to speak to him. And if you've read the little things, <laughs> walking up here, kind of spoiler. Uh, when can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Well, tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice. According to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkor. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. 
But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Okay, well, who was Jorgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, the master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Okay, well, what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneri at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward action. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Well, I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Okay. Sky above. Voice within. Sounds good. Okay, oh, made it back to where I was. I have to remember to save. Something that I I tend to forget. And I'm also used to being like overpowered in games. So starting here from like the base level. Hello. There's a book over here. Oh, this is studded armor. Yornibret's last dance. I was expecting it to be a skill book. Women's Verse 1. Every winter season, except for the reason of one war or another, this is a poem, obviously it's a verse, really quite a bother, the Queen of Remen and her consort quest their vassals come and co covort. On each and every all, the first man at the hall is Lord Ogin Jornbret of Gare, curse of all the maidens fair. Women's refrain, oh dear ladies, beware, dearest, dearest ladies, take care. Though he's a very handsome man, if you dare to take his handsome hand, the nasty little spell will be cast, and your first dance will, with him will be the last. Men's verse one. Uh, at this social event, everyone will, everyone who went, knew the ba the bows, bows, yes, the bows and stances and steps to all the dances. The Queen of Remen and her consort would order a trumpet's wild report. And there could be no indecision as the revelers look or as the revelers took position. I, I don't like this type of poetry. That's just like you know, the first dance only ladies separate away from such men as Lord Jornibret. Men's refrain. Oh dear fellows explain. Brothers, can you help make it plain? The man's been doing this for years. The man, uh, living, leaving maidens fair in tears. Before the final tune's been blast, and her first dance with him will be the last. 
Women's verse 2. Lord Ogin Jornipert of Gare watched the ladies dance on air. The loveliest in the realm, a fellow in a earth sign hide helm, said. The Queen of Rimen and her consort have put together quite a sport. Which lady fair do you prefer? Or Jorna Brett pointed her. See that bosom bob and weave. Well suited for me to love and leave. Woman's refrain. Women's verse 2. The man in the mask of a bear had left the Lord of Gare. Before the lady's dance was ending, then a trumpet sounded, portending that the Queen of Rimen and her consort called for the men to come to court. Disdainful, passing over all the rest, Ogden approached she of bobbing breast. She was rejected, saved a life of woe, for a new maiden as fair as snow. Men's refrain. Oh, so you would reread the whole thing. I'm not going back. Women's verse 3. At the first note of the band, the beauty took Ogden's hand. She complimented his stately carriage, dancing to the tune about the marriage of the Queen of Remen and her consort. It is very difficult indeed to comport with grace, neither falling nor flailing, wearing ornate hide and leather mailing, dancing light as the sweetest of dreams, without a single squeak of the seams. Men's verse 3. The rhythms rose and fell. No one dancing except no 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 one dancing could excel. With masculine grace and syncopation. Lord Jornipert even drew admiration. From the Queen of Remen and her consort. Like a but buteous vessel pulling into port. He silently slid, belying the leather's weight. She whispered girlishly, the hour is late. But I've never seen such grace in hide armor. It was a pity he knew he had to harm her. Men's refrain. Women's verse 4. The tune beat was furious. He began to be curious. Where had the maiden been se sequestered? Before this dance was requested by the consort and his queen of Rimen, I didn't see you dance with the women. My dress was torn as I came to the dance, she said, smiling in a voice deep as a man's. My maids worked quickly to repair while I wore a suit of helm or hide and helm of a bear, women's refrain. So, Lord Jornibert is the Queen of Rimen. Oh no, the Queen of Rimen was this woman. That he was danced with at the end. Okay. Sure. Poetry, Lydia. Poetry. I'm, I'm a published poet, and I still find it somewhat annoying 